Hello everyone, it's Rita Jensen here, and um, welcome to my channel. Uh, welcome all the new subscribers I've had in the last couple weeks. I haven't had a chance to say thank you for joining um, my YouTube videos and watching along with this. Um, so, I had a hard time with this cover. I couldn't, this is the Enchanted Lady journal, and it's really um, chunky getting very chunky and I, I couldn't make up my mind what to do to the front of this because I kind of wanted to put this lady on there but for some reason it just doesn't look right plus I don't really like the zigzag um, the pinking around the edges of it so Mary one of my subbies um, friend said why don't you make a mini journal and sit on top of it and I thought that was brilliant so that's what I'm going to do today I'm going to um, work on that. I probably won't finish it. I'll finish it off screen because I want to get this done and um, do a flip through. Uh, I still have to sew some things inside here and put some lace on the edges, a couple charms and that kind of stuff. But anyways, um, so what I did was, I, this is Janie B's um, digital kit. It's the hat lady. And um, what I did is I went and printed two on a page, which um, in my computer is like um, five by sevens. Um, I mean, I go to the five by seven, um, setting and then I get two on a page. And, um, so this is the front cover that, um, of the, I, I call it the front cover cover of the, um, kit in other words. So, because it is the hat lady. So what I'm going to do, I ripped this all and I did this on cardstock, um, because I want it to be the cover, so I want it a little sturdier. And the other half is also on cardstock, so there's just gonna be a sturdy section. And then we're gonna fold these in half and ink them up. So this will be what I attach to the front of this journal. And um, I put a, a couple pieces of lace coming out of it, and I think that will set it off. I, I was going to do a full size, but that covers all the fabric. I don't want to cover the fabric. That's where the dilemma is. So, uh, let me ink these up real quick. Now, I was going to do a hinge journal, this little mini journal. I've done it before at Christmas last year. I did. Okay, so. I'm back. I had a phone call. So, where did I leave off? Okay, I was getting these ready. Um, yeah, I have, tomorrow I have to leave and um, go um, one of the uh, apartment buildings that um, I manage there. It's vacant and I have to go over there, but we don't have any gas around here. So I'm hoping um, even if I have to get premium, I can get some gas. Um, and I, I would looked online, you know, of course they don't have a real update. I guess they have, they tell the prices. It, one of them said a day ago was the price was two eighty nine, dollars which, um, is um, pretty good unless you live in, because if you live in California, it's a whole lot more than that. Okay. So then I've got this page here that I printed too. I'm just going to make this as small like a small mini so so I hope everybody's good um, it's gonna be warm here we're looking at I don't know later I mean maybe Friday or something or, I don't know weekend it's gonna be like 90 um, so it's the beginning of our hot weather coming. It seems like once the 90 hits, it kind of sticks around. But as long as there, there's not a lot of humidity, it's not too bad. But there will be humidity. I was um, thinking about this, that I had made these at Christmas time. And I'm almost like, oh, it's 
Christmas gonna, is going to be coming up again. I mean, I know it's only May, but I feel like it's right around the corner. Especially when it comes to making journals, because you only have so much time to really um, get those made. Um, and so they have to be fairly simple, and a lot of people only use them for that season of that year, so uh, they don't need to be too big. Or for gifts, I guess, I don't know. All right, this is such the tedious part is, um, Let's see, that's going to be the cover, and then I don't know, I'll rearrange the pages when I get to it. I was going to do it hinged, but I feel like if I do, it's going to take away from, um, oh, let's see, let's do this guy. You know, the edge, there isn't a lot of room when you try to hinge pages. I don't know, I might change my mind and do that, but or I can just do a signature. thankful Mary came up with this because I have seen people do that where they'll make a, like a little journal to go with the big journal and that's kind of nice because they can even give the small one away as a small gift so I don't know if I'm going to put pockets and stuff in this um, if I did I'd have to print out the downsized pockets in there for now and then did I put a coffee dyed I don't think so I wanted coffee dyed so it has to be cut about right there so I can do two pages Slightly too tall. Oh. All right. This is the time consuming inking. But when you do the edges, you kind of want to because it looks better. I don't know, maybe on the coffee dyed, I really don't need to do it, but. Okay. So the next time I do show this, it'll probably be the flip through because I'll go ahead and do the rest of this stuff off camera. It's just um, been dragging out. Okay, let's put maybe a copy dyed in here. And in here. I guess I left those too long, darn. All right, I'll go back and fix, fix those. All right. This is, I think this might be, I think it's avocado dyed. All right, I'm just going to do that. Probably should have done this one way on the other one. About right there. Thought I'd put this little doily in. Um, I was thinking about putting the center 
Maybe I'll use this as the center. Turn it this way. All right, and put in. And then I have this little book page, um, little music page. I thought maybe that would be cute. Let me see. I think if I fold it. So if I do it like this, cut off this edge. It's too long. I just didn't want to rip off the name of the song. That's still too long on this side. Would have been cute if the little girl had been at the top. Boy, but so oh well. Just a little fun to put in here. Whoops. All right. So let's put them. Which one here? All right. So now we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight pages. Hmm. That might be enough. Let's see if I could take this. I guess I need to take both these off a little bit. like to hinge these. I kind of like to do that. So let's see. I wonder if I should just could hinge it just with some coffee dyed um, paper. something like this. Hmm. I'm sorry, I just um, kind of just thought that would be Let's just do this kind of a hinge. Okay, so actually it doesn't have to be that wide. So maybe if I only get a couple of these done, um, You'll know how to do it. Let's 
So I'm just going to take these and put them together like this. And get another piece. And they don't have to be the same size. They can be all over the place. You can do um, fabric or whatever you want. Just line these up nice and close to each other, okay? All right, and then we'll put this page in. So I'm gonna set that down. Use some of this pink. on me. That was too gluey of a spot and I glued it on the wrong side. So I was trying to go at this angle changing my mind. Okay. I'm going to set that over there like that. So each page gets put on top of each other. This one is too long, so this one I have to cut down a little bit. glue stick here in a minute. So I don't have too much um, to say today. I've got a million things to do, but And um, what was I going to say about? Um, okay, let me see about how I want to do this where it doesn't hinder the little picture. I think I'll just put one at the top and the bottom. So uh, one of our subbies, Mary Macano, I think. That's how you pronounce it. I'd be awful if I can't pronounce it correctly. But she has now established a YouTube channel. And so if you want to go to her channel and subscribe or take a look at what she's doing, she's new. And um, I think I'll have to figure out how to add her link. A YouTube link in my description. I hope I don't forget to do that because I'm so forgetful. But um, yeah, she's, you know, I haven't, she hasn't that many out, so it's not, I haven't seen exactly what she's doing, but she is, um, I'm sure, having fun doing videos, so.
it's always fun to find somebody new that, you know, has a whole different flair on things. Um, I think I'm going to have to lift that one up. I'm just going to go like that because when they get a little thick, um, it's probably easier to lay them, fold them in half and then lay it on top of it. So let me do that. Blue is just disappearing on me. All right, so I'm going to lift that one up there like that. Oh, my fingers are sticky. And then I'll put this on top. Let me make sure it's level. I'm going to get a wipe out because. Everything will be sticking to me. All right, so I've never done a doily in one of these, so I guess I only need like one little spot. Hmm. Little piece of that book page. And as you do these two, go back and kind of check to see if they dried um, together. Sometimes they get stuck in there if you wait for it to dry. All right. Um, wonder if this will hold up. Just one piece. Um, to put something cute there. out envelopes. one. It's got just enough pink. I mean, this is not going to be handled that much, you know. It's just... So it doesn't have to be like... It's going to be used every single day. strong enough to well we'll see because we're going to bind this together so all right so now we're on our last page So 
Just gonna use it and put down the middle of this. wasn't going to do this hinged one, but now that I have, fold this in half so I can get one side on the page. Sorry if my head's in there, that's, I need to see it. Okay. All right, so there is our little hinged journal. Oops, there's one stuck. Just checking to see if everything's okie dokie. Alright, so this is an issue. Um, I think I'm going to have to put two more pieces of paper on that side. I might be able to put some washi tape. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not sure I like the look of it, but maybe I could put the music on there. Yeah, let's put the music on. Stabilize it a little bit. Okay. Whoop. Trying to ink it with my glue. That doesn't work. Okay. It's probably the last glue spot on my page there. This side is like pretty stable. It's this side that is wonky. And then maybe I can put something there to hide. I don't know. It's fine. Looks okay. All right. So well, that's that. Now I'm going to get something to put along here. And um, I'm thinking, hold on, I'm going to get my fabric real quick. Here. Sorry, I knew I had a strip of it already cut, but it's not wide enough. All right. So I thought I would use some of this a scrap. It's like just about right. Okay, so let's do, let's see if I can cut that. I have my pinky and shears. I wanna cut this straight and I'm not sure. I can't cut it with my cutter. Let me just. If I can do a straight piece. Normally I would use my rotary cutter. Okay. I'll put a piece of lace on that side. It's not straight. Hold on. 
a second. Let me see if I can. Maybe a shorter distance I can do straighter. And then I was thinking, um, I probably put those all away, that flower that I had. Hold on, I'm sorry. I kinda didn't think I was gonna do this anymore. All right, that's way too big. Um, Well, darn. Um, maybe this one is small enough. No, I don't like it there. Okay. Um, I guess I'll just leave this one plain. And then I'm going to take the sari silk and wrap around this. Um, and then I'll put a piece of lace back here. So let me get this glued on. So low. through a little because I put on too much I'm sure of it okay that looks straight I still could cut off some more of this I guess I could have marked it on the back side with a pencil or something okay that's better I'm going to cover it with lace, this back edge. Okay. Darn, I was thinking I could put a little flower up there. be a good size but it's just doesn't seem the right color oh, all those beads keep falling off um, You know what, it's just not going to be the right flower. Those are too big. They're too bulky. Let's see, this is um, a flower I took apart and I coffee dyed it. So I thought maybe that's too big. No, it just doesn't look right. All right, well, That's not going to happen. What a mess I've got. Okay, so um, I'm going to leave it here and I will uh, put some little.
pockets or things inside here and then when I do the flip through I'll show you what it looks like but I think that will add I don't have a sorry silk out but if I did I'm just gonna tie a little bow around this put a little lace maybe on this uh, page I might well I don't want to cover her face so um, I think that kind of like gives it the final I don't know It's, I'm not going to glue it down because I want them to, you know, take it. So that's why I was just going to set it on top, like when I package it up. Okay. Well, I don't know. <laughs> it's just one of those things. You just can't, you know, I'm not feeling it. I got paint on my hands again. I painted this morning. Um, but... You know, I, I guess um, it's pretty. I love this fabric. I just love this. So, all right. Thank you for joining me today. And I will um, see you in the next video. Okay? Bye.